What's up, beautiful people? This is going to be an interesting one. It's titled Charlie Kirk Crushes College Kid on Life. Pay attention. Uh, what do you think about separation of church and state? Um, doesn't exist. It well, shouldn't exist. Yeah. Shouldn't exist? Yeah. So you should have church in the state? Well, first, where in the Constitution does it say that? We can't First have Amendment. Where? Uh, it's about the religion, right? So there's no exception of religion. There's no exception. It doesn't say that. Yes, it does. It says Congress shall make no law establishing religion yeah, yeah. or prohibiting the exercise thereof. Where does it say church and state? Religion. Well, hold on. It says that Congress shall make no official religion or prohibiting the exercise thereof. Where does it say that the church can't get involved in the state? It could be involved, but it can't be the religion established. Hold on. We're talking about two different things then, yeah, right? Yeah, no, see, like, because what you're saying is that, oh, you can be a Christian and be in the government. And that's true. That's how it works right now. You can be a Christian and be in the government, right? But you cannot establish Christianity as the basis of... Well, no, that's not what I'm arguing. I'm arguing that Christians should be in the government and the church should be actively involved. Where do we get that phrase, separation of church and state, from? The First Amendment. No, we don't. No, it's, Th it's Thomas Jefferson writing to the Danbury Baptist Convention in Massachusetts, uh -huh. assuring them that the church would not come after the state. So let me ask you a question. Let's pretend that church and state is the law of the land, right? That the Warren Court and the Burger Court argued in the 1950s and 1960s. Then why on earth did we put up with the government going around and shutting down churches during the pandemic? I thought we need separation of church and state. Why is it that the government can go and shut down churches? Okay, so they Aren't they supposed shutting... to be separate? I actually played for a church. I played drum set, right? So I would go to church and uh, they're not shutting down churches because of you know, COVID, they're saying that, oh, it's unsafe to be in public. Like, but they shouldn't have the right to do it because I thought they were supposed to be separate. Right? I mean, for general safety? I mean, if you, if you want people like dying, then. Oh, so you could shut them down for safety. So it's not separate. It's like we can come they, in for whatever reason we deem necessary okay. to restrict your religion? It's not restricting. You can practice from well, on camera. We, we played like through live stream and like online. Yeah. So watching church right on a right? live stream is like watching a fireplace on TV. You can see everything with no one. <laughs> okay, but if God is real all the time and you can't go to church because of a disease going around. What does it say in the Bible about do not forsake the gathering of, of the brethren. believers where two or more are gathered in my name? <laughs> okay, so what does it say about conception? When what? does it begin? Huh? Conception? Or when does, uh, I'm sorry, life begin? At conception, of course. Yeah. I, I thought it said at first breath. No, it actually doesn't say that. So What's the, the verse? Well, hold on. First of all, it says, I knew you before you were in the womb yeah and what you are doing is paraphrasing what you consider to be ex nihilo out of nothing made in the image of god the breath of god was actually where life begins so the question would be was john the baptist a baby when he le when he leapt in, in elizabeth's womb was he are you a christian me yeah am i what you answer <laughs> you just got very weird bro yeah the, the debate was going pretty well he was doing pretty well I like the fact that he spoke up and he kept his composure until now. Christian? Me? Yeah. Am I? You play drums at a church, so I hope you're a Christian. You too? Um, but you're, you're missing the point, it sounds like. No, no, I'm actually not missing I mean, the I point. I asked you the, the verse that says that it begins at conception. Right, so I knew you before you were in the womb is one of many verses of which it reinforces that you should protect life in the womb. But, but, but you're, you're doing this interpreting, right? So... I want you to tell me where no, it I'm, says I'm re that I'm reading. life begins at. You're, how are you reading? There's no book. He, there, there's no book. Uh, it, it's, I've memorized scripture. You should try it. So, you, so you're reading it in your brain right now? Well, well, no. In Jeremiah, it says very clearly, I knew you before you were in the womb. Yeah. So when it says in the Bible that exception begins at first breath. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't. You're, then you, what does it say? You're misquoting it very clearly. Psalm 139, 13 through 16. For you formed my inward parts, it says. You wove me in my mother's womb, it says. Mm -hmm. I will give thanks to you, for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. Fearfully, wonderfully made, and my inward works. That sounds like a baby in the womb, doesn't it? Yeah, well, a fetus in the womb. A fetus in the womb? Yeah. What species is that fetus? What is this argument? It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of like everywhere. It's difficult to understand. Yeah, it's not precise enough. Fetus? Species. You know, arguments like this usually come from a place of guilt or guilt that stems from doubt. It could have been he got somebody pregnant and then he's trying to justify the reason why he might have asked the 
young lady to go take the baby out i'm just speculating right now but i feel like that's where this argument might be coming from you know yes. just saying species. what species is that fetus human so it would be a human life yeah, well, it would be eventually oh but when does it become a human life then when it's born when it breathes oh really so that a 26 week old preemie baby that is saved because of a cesarean section isn't a baby until it comes out of the womb? I mean, if it's born, it's born. So you believe that we should be able to terminate a pregnancy up until the moment of birth? Did I say that? I'm asking. No. Okay, so then what restriction on abortion would you give? Well, if the, the woman who was giving birth is going to die? Which never happens. Which nev never happens. That's right. So, so That's the, right. It is a mythology Ohio, that women will die if they have a baby. That's that they, right. They, you could they, talk to entire communities of OBs. You know why? Because if cesarean option is entertained, then you could save both the mother and the baby. Instead, the abortion industry lies to the mother, and they say that you must terminate the baby to save the mother's life. So you could talk to they, hundreds of Christian OBs and non-Christian OBs, and they will tell you that is a mythology of the abortion industry. Hmm. Mm. You know what? That's... that's funny uh, no it's actually not way, funny no no, the, the, no i'm saying you the way you represent facts like willingly and knowingly i'm sorry the way you like you knowingly like represent facts you say oh okay uh abortion oh it's it's terrible because uh, you see when you start losing the argument you attack the personality this is a trick lawyers do don't don't do it here it's very dishonest to do that because now you're attacking the personality and it's like you're losing the argument you say oh okay uh abortion Oh, it's it's terrible because oh you can't possibly save the baby and you can't possibly save the mother at the same time. It happens. The ten year old in Ohio, right? Yes, a cesarean section could have saved the baby's life and the mother's life. Do you know what a cesarean section is? Do you? Yes, my wife had one. Oh, okay, that's good for you. I'm saying when the baby, right? So you know what <laughs> the guy holding the mic is tired. He's like, bro, ask your question and let me go. <laughs> Look at his face. My guy is readjusting and adjusting the mic, trying to get this over with. <laughs> if he could beg Charlie Kirk to just end it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just noticed that. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a cesarean section is or not? I honestly don't know. Yeah, so I, I would. Here's a little word to the wise. Let's quit while you're ahead. A cesarean section is a medical intervention that saves tens of thousands of lives every single year of a small slit done at the, at the top of a, a woman's pelvis. Yeah, a cesarean oh, a section. That's a C-section oh, okay. abbreviated, all right? Oh, wow. So maybe you, that's, that's where we get the term C-section from. Oh, so guess wow. what? If every woman that's lied to by Planned Parenthood was given a C-section instead of an abortion, so then all of a sudden abortion would not be necessary to save their life. Them. Every single one of them. If you talk to hundreds of OBs across the country, they will say medical necessary abortion is a lie. So period. You're 10 years End old, of story. Right, and you're pregnant, right? You're ten years old and pregnant. Okay, so you really can't give birth through your your womb. You can't give so birth. So you to that. do a C-section. How? You cut See, them what? open and you lift the baby up, and everyone lives. How does the baby survive? Hopefully through. <laughs> I don't know why this is comedic to me, but look at this guy's face. I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Hopefully through a work of God and Hopefully. also medical technology that is the most common surgery in America. So I'll kind of close what with this and then we'll get to the next question because we're running low on time. When does life begin? At first breath. At first breath. That moral standard of first breath would therefore believe that you could have abortion up until the life, up until the moment of birth. Life begins at conception. I'm going to say this as nicely as I possibly can. You're a drummer at a church. You should probably reconsider that because you are advocating for the most horrific and brutal eugenic non-Christian abortion policies that I could possibly imagine. I hope you prayerfully reconsider and repent. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. Yeah, his, uh, his points where it will be contradictory to come saying i'm a drummer and this is what i believe in then he, they asked him are you a christian he's like am i it's it's weird you know he lost the argument instead of attacking the personality which didn't seem right um i just hope that didn't come from a place of uh um of his current situation like i stated previously maybe he got a young woman pregnant and he's not ready to be a father so he's asking the young woman to go take it out 
and then he's trying to justify that and that's why he's asking these questions he's probably a very nice guy who before then did not believe in abortion but his current situation is making him consider it that could that could have been what prompted this question so yeah i can't really like bash him for that he really has doubts and i hope he got the right answers he might have needed and i also like charlie kirk too you know at the end of this um, question and answer session sometimes meet these people i don't know if he does already maybe he does meet these people and really talk to them hum human to human because a lot of times holding the mic could be tense you know so talk to them human to human they could open up a lot more to you and then you can answer their questions and help them and pray for them is the end of this video share your thoughts smash the like button subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace